Hi, my name is Elizabeth Boham. About 16 years ago, I was diagnosed with a triple negative breast cancer at the age of 30. So here's my advice if you happen to be listening to this video. So if you, if you need to be listening to this video, first of all, I'm really sorry that, that this is something you need to be dealing with. The first thing I would say is get a second opinion, or maybe even a third opinion, or a fourth opinion. Get as many opinions as you need to feel comfortable with what decisions you make going forward. Make sure you're doing something for yourself every day, even though if you don't feel like it and you feel really crummy inside, go out for a walk or, or go to a dance class or have a massage. Make sure you're eating good, healthy food. Do something for yourself every day to help you get through this difficult time. One of my favorite things I did was a Nia dance class and it was so much fun and it was very helpful throughout my whole treatment process. When you're, if you need to get chemotherapy, don't eat your favorite fruit foods while you're getting chemo. That was because you won't want to eat them for a long time afterwards. Um, make sure you talk to somebody about your fertility options before starting any treatment. Everybody's situation is different, but one thing you want to know is that it's not, uh, getting pregnant after having breast cancer doesn't necessarily increase your risk of having future breast cancer. So make sure you talk to your doctors about it. I now have two beautiful children, 14 and 12. I was very lucky. Um, acupuncture, very, very helpful. Uh, it was helpful both for the uh, symptoms that I had during chemotherapy and radiation, and it was also helpful to balance my hormones, who, and the hormones went all over the place. The hot flashes and the vaginal dryness were awful and continue to sometimes be. So acupuncture is really a helpful modality for that situation. Um, you know, and keep a gratitude journal. That was one of the best things that I did, and it really was helpful for me. It helped, it helped me feel happy again. It helped me gain some perspective through this whole journey, and it helped the fear go away. So I send you my healing wishes.